The next generation Galaxy Watch has arrived and there are actually two models, the Watch 5 and the Watch 5 Pro. I'll get into the differences about what makes the Pro Pro a little bit later on in the video, but suffice to say, most of the sensors are actually the same and a lot of the specs are actually pretty similar as well. Now, like the Watch 4 and Watch 4 Classic that were released last year, these new watches feature a very similar design. They have a round screen as well as two buttons for navigation. They come with new sapphire crystal glass to make them supposedly more scratch resistant and a redesigned back panel to make it fit more snugly against your wrist. But the biggest change that you've probably seen by now is that there is no more rotating bezel. That is the classic design cue that's been on pretty much almost all Galaxy watches since the very beginning. And I honestly don't know how to feel about that. I think I'm a little bit sad, but maybe there are some redeeming features. Now, suffice to say, Samsung is actually keeping the Watch 4 Classic in its lineup. So maybe it's not time to cry just yet about the loss of that bezel. Now I'll have a full review and hands-on in the coming days. So if you're not subscribed already, please make sure to do that to stay tuned because I've got a lot of thoughts and I'm sure a lot of testing coming up for you. But until then, let's get into everything we know about the Watch 5. These are the second generation watches running the new Wear OS platform, co-designed between Google and Samsung. But as we know, visually, it really does look and feel a lot more like the older Galaxy watches running Tizen, thanks to that One UI interface. So very much more like a Samsung watch rather than a Google watch. The Galaxy Watch 5 comes in two different sizes, a 40 and 44 millimeter frame. Both come with a Bluetooth or LTE variant and the finish and casing is aluminum or aluminum. As you'd expect, these watches have a whole suite of sensors, including the ones that we've already seen on the Galaxy Watch previously, things like a blood oxygen sensor, an ECG or electrocardiogram app, as well as that body composition sensor. And now the new addition to both of the watches, the 5 and the 5 Pro, is skin temperature tracking. Samsung also says that both of the new watches have the ability to give you much deeper sleep analysis and sleep insights over time, with you being able to do a coaching program to help you get better sleep over a couple of weeks. You might remember that the Google Assistant took a really long time to launch on the Galaxy Watch 4, but it is there at launch on the Galaxy Watch 5, including a whole suite of other Google apps, including YouTube Music, Google Maps, and of course, the Play Store. There are also eight new watch faces to choose from, and Samsung says that the actions of copying data to and from the watch and phone should be much more seamless than before. Most importantly, these watches have larger capacity batteries, 15% larger than on the Watch 4 Classic, 284 milliampere hours on the 40 millimeter, which is the smaller watch, or 410 milliampere hours on the 44 millimeter watch, which is the larger edition. They're also supposed to be able to recharge to 45% in just 30 minutes. And I'm crossing my fingers and really hoping that there is a significant improvement in overall battery life from the Watch 4 series. In my experience, the Watch 4, which is the classic edition and the 40 millimeter or the smaller size, sometimes only gets me just to the end of the day just by scraping through. And in Scott Stein's full review of the Galaxy Watch 4 series, which you can watch right up here, he had the larger edition of the watches and really only made it to just under two days without the always on display active. So definitely room for improvement. I really hope we see more battery life from these. Now, pricing is actually really competitive, starting at 279 US dollars for the smallest 40 millimeter Bluetooth edition. Of course, the price goes up as we get into the different LTE variants and the larger size, but that starting price, $279, actually puts it on par with the current price at the time of recording, at least, of the Apple Watch SE. Now that's not even the top of the line Apple Watch, that's the one below. So it's a really interesting value proposition here and I can't wait to see how they compare. Curiously, Samsung is keeping the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic in its lineup, so you don't need to get too sad if you really want a watch with a rotating bezel. But more importantly, even though the Galaxy Watch 5 is an Android watch, 
Something to know is that some of those health sensors and features will only work if you have a Galaxy phone. That's similar to the Watch 4, where features like the ECG were locked to Galaxy only. All right, let's talk about that Pro model finally. Now, it starts at $449 for the Bluetooth version, or $499 for the LTE, or cellular connectivity version, and it only comes in one size, 45 millimeters. So this one is designed to be a bit bigger on the wrist, um, and obviously it's going to have more screen real estate for you to look at. This one is designed for people that are doing many more outdoorsy kind of activities, specifically people who are doing a lot more outdoor athletic kind of activities like running, outdoor cycling, hiking, and maybe even if you're just working a lot in the outdoors and you need the most durable watch that Samsung offers. The casing on this is made from titanium and the sapphire crystal glass is supposed to be stronger than that on the Watch 5. So don't you worry, there will be some durability tests incoming to see how strong this really is. Some of the sports features include being able to import cycle or trail routes and then using turn-by-turn -turn navigation. You'll also be able to reroute yourself back to your starting point or home when you are out on either a run or an outdoor ride. But really, the battery life does look like one of the biggest reasons to opt for the Watch 5 Pro as opposed to the Watch 5, the regular edition. Not only do you get a more durable design, you also get a larger screen and casing, but 590 milliampere hours is the capacity of the battery in the Pro edition. Samsung quotes that as giving you up to 80 hours of continuous use or 20 hours of GPS time if you're just using it for outdoor activities. Now that 80 hours equates to what, three, almost three and a half days of battery life, which is very exciting. Now sure, it doesn't reach the upper echelons of what say dedicated sports watches, say I'm thinking like the Garmin Epix 2 can give you, but still, I'm excited to see if this actually meets the claims because I love battery life. Sounds weird to say, but I hate charging my watch every night. Maybe you're the same as me. So the more battery life, the better. So that's everything we know so far about the Watch 5 and Watch 5 Classic. But as I mentioned, we will have so much more coverage coming for you in the coming days. Make sure to stay tuned for all of that. When I get my hands on with it, you'll be the first to know, but I would love to know any questions that you have about the watch that I can answer for you as soon as it arrives in my hot little hands. Leave me a comment down below and let me know. Until then, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.